I spoke about like to party. The Nigerian Afrobeat scene at the time was all everybody was, <laughs> you know, we were all jumping up and down. But you slow down the tempo, like brought in a style that a lot of people will be very scared to do in an industry like Nigeria, where if you're not on the dance floor fast, fast, nobody is listening. Tell me the thought process behind that. Did you even put that much thought behind it, or you just thought this is music I like? Let me put it out there. People are gonna love it. No, nah, actually, to be honest, I actually recorded a bunch of songs at the time, and uh, my record label at mm -hmm. the time, the CEO, he he just heard that song and he's like, yeah, we're dropping this next. I'm like, cool. And then it worked. <laughs> One of the songs I heard, DJ Larry, who runs Factory 78 here, handling the camera there, he was one of the first people to introduce me to Burner Boy music. Big up, big up, big up <laughs> to you, man. And he said, listen to this guy. He is definitely somebody to watch for the future. One of the songs that pops in my ear all the time was the Wombo Lombo, Wombo Lombo <laughs> thing. Tell me about people picking up... That's actually, that was actually my first hit. Like, wow. That was actually my first like major hit in Nigeria. It was one balloon because like <laughs> the whole Angel Kijo feel and everything just kind of I don't know I really don't know because again I just recorded a bunch of songs and then they just said we're dropping this one. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs>